uh, I'm going to quickly cover how we can do uh, a split command um, to split a house or to split any kind of surface in Rhino. So what I have right here is I have a quick house that I've modeled in the past. Um, I have a topography as well. Um, and each of these, as you can see, are kind of separate pieces, so that's completely fine. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create our splitting line. So the way that you do this is when you split in Rhino, um, you need to have a surface or you need to have an object that's intersecting with another surface or an object. So in this case, I'm going to use a surface. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line, um, just a straight line. I'm going to extrude this line, so I'm going to type in extrude curve. And it doesn't matter how high I make the curve. Uh, so let's delete this. Um, so the important thing is when you make your curve, you want to make sure that the, um, the surface that you create is intersecting all of the geometry that you want to split. So if you look at my clipping plane, um, it's intersecting my topography and it's intersecting my house as well. So the next thing is I want to know where I want to split my house and my geometry. So if I go to ghosted view, I have an idea of kind of where I want to split the surface. So let me actually move it. I'm going to split it at the staircase. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of getting an idea of where I want to split it. And top view might be more accurate. So if you go to ghosted view. So I would want to split it right in the middle of my staircase. So that seems like a good spot. So let's go back to perspective view. So since I'm splitting it right over here um, and I have my plane, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in split. Now it tells me select objects to split. So I'm going to select everything except for my clipping plane. So to deselect it is you click uh, control and then you select it. So control and you can deselect something. So these are all the objects I want to split. I'm going to press enter. And the next thing it says is select cutting objects. So I'm going to select my plane as a cutting object. I'm going to press enter. Now this usually takes a little bit of time. Um, what you want to keep in mind is you want to make sure that everything is ungrouped. So if you have any surfaces that are grouped, you want to make sure that they're ungrouped. And also you want to make sure that the um, cutting surface intersects everything. So now that I've split this, you can see that it created a mesh. 24 objects were split into 50 pieces. So yeah, that sounds right. So now we're going to go to top view. So let's go to top view. I'm going to select kind of all the pieces that were split. So I'm selecting all of this. So you can see that everything kind of showed up. Uh, let's do that one more time. You just have to be careful with how you select it. So it looks like I selected everything. So since I selected everything, I'm just going to move it over. And you can see that my building was split uh, using this clipping plane. And I can just delete this now. So there you go. Uh, you were able to quickly make a split uh, using you know, you know, any kind of surface line. And split command works with you know multiple things. So it works, works with objects as well as with uh, lines. Just keep in mind that when you split, you're going to have open surfaces. So you got to make sure that you close this up. Um, if you look at a previous example, which I have right here, um, what I did is I actually took this um, split surface. I drew projection lines. And if you look over here, there's a make 2D that I created um, that actually shows how this would look when you create this. So that's how it would look when you do a make 2D, um, kind of showing a separated split surface. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, it's a very useful command. Uh, it comes in uh, pretty handy at times. Um, yeah, and it's usually the most effective way. And if your split has any error, uh, just keep in mind that either your objects are grouped, either the surfaces aren't intersecting, or the geometry is too complex and your computer can't really handle it. So it's going to be one of those three options. Um, that's it for this video.